push. But uh, God's doing miracles. And the latest miracle, turn it down a little bit now, you're over it. Praise God, praise God. Um, but, but the latest miracle, I'm not going to tell it, I want her to tell it. The latest miracle, the latest one that God did here among us. Tell it, sister. Gloria, what God did our mic here. Come down, Brother Hart. Ernest for the mic. Praise God. We've got one. We've got one back in front. Praise God. Amen. church service I almost asked her to take me home but the Lord did a miracle and the swelling started going down halfway during the service and then I spent time with the Lord the next night and I said Lord I'm claiming my healing and John and I were praying together and I got off my recliner and I started walking and I said, I am walking, look at this, I'm walking. And I was stiff leg, the knee was locked. And uh, so then I spent time with the Lord until four o'clock this morning. And I woke John up because I was saying, Lord, pour your fire on me. And I was saying, fire, fire, and I woke him up. Because I am not the same girl that I was two years ago. From the inside out. Amen. And I love him and I love him and I love him and I love him. And I want to introduce you to my best friend Jesus. And the Holy Spirit is my best friend. And I was spending time with him till four o'clock. And I'm gonna show you. I'm walking. <laughs> And I have, to, I have to obey the Lord Amen. because Brother Marlowe's church is going to another level. When you have dreams that the Lord wants you to stand behind him, John had three dreams that he was playing back in this church. And when the Lord talks to me in visions and dreams, I obey and John obeys. So we are supporting Brother Marlowe right now because God told us to. Amen. And Sister Marlowe and this church. And I believe that this church is going to change and go to another level in God because he's coming back for a glorious church. And you know what? You have to know the author of the word of God. Who is the author of the word? God. you got to meet him personally. you got to know who he really is. Amen? And so I have learned to know who he is because I love him. And so... I was reading this morning at 4 o'clock today about Elijah when he was running from Jezebel. Come on. Yeah. And he was running and he said, man, the Israelites have broken Come the on. covenant. I'm the only one left. Right. And he was sitting under a juniper tree and the angel yeah. came. Come on. But then he, said, he was supposed to go up the mountain. He got into a cave. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is that the Lord came through with the wind. Yes, he did. Broke the rocks, but the Lord was not in the wind. Then the earthquake came, and the Lord was not in the earthquake. And then the fire came, and he wasn't in the fire. But he came in a sweet, still, small voice. Amen. And how close do we want to get to feel that whisper and that small voice? If I whisper in Jim's ear, I have to be real close. If I whisper in Marlene's ear, I have to be real close so she can hear me. That means you've got to have an intimate relationship with the King of Kings and Lord of Lords so you can hear him whisper in your ear. Amen? Can you say amen? And so the bridegroom wants us to get closer and closer and closer and become intimate. 
intimate with him. And that's why it says in Psalms, you almost took that out of me, where Psalms 46 verse 10 said, be still and know that I am God. Sometimes you have to sit in your room, not talk, not even put worship music on, and just listen. And just talk to Jesus because he will talk to you in your spirit. So he's taking this church to a different level. level. You are going to see signs and wonders. Because Brother Marlowe is going to preach the word totally. I believe he's, he's going to get out of the box. Amen. Amen. And we've got to get out of the box. Amen. Amen. We cannot stay in our stale area any longer. We've got to get out of the box. Say, I'm going to get out of the box. I am going to be the person he wants me to be. Amen? I am not going to let the devil take me in another direction any longer. Let's say that. I will not let you take me in another direction any longer. We have flesh. I have flesh. But you know what? We repent and we get back on our knees and we go back. You know, when a baby falls, he gets up and he takes a step higher than he was before. So when you get up, you get up higher when you make a mistake. Amen? Hallelujah. So when you come when you come into your prayer closet and you listen to that sweet, small voice, be still and know that I am God. And then he'll say, call Brother Marla. Call Sister Marla. Go and do this. Call Marlene. You know? And you listen, and you listen, and you listen. And I'm so proud of Marlene and Jim and Bob met you tonight and Fran. So proud of all of you. Because this is the time that you came into this church that God is moving in our lives. Amen. And I met these two people supernaturally, and I love them dearly. I love you, Jim. I love Marlene. And I love you, Fran. love you, Bob. And I hope that you will enjoy this church ongoing because this is where you're supposed to be tonight. Okay? Amen. So who wants to go on for Jesus? Who wants miracles in their lives? Who wants to tell the devil goodbye? Do you know when the Lord was taken to a pinnacle, the devil said, uh, cast yourself down. You said the angels will take charge. He quoted Psalm 91. He knows the scriptures. But you know what he forgot to do? He forgot to say, if you tramp on the lion and Adam. <laughs> he forgot to do that. He forgot to do that. So the Lord said, it is written, get thee behind me, Satan. Amen. So I'm excited. And I'm going to seek him with all my heart. And I want you to seek him with all your heart. And to make a commitment to him. Even after the service tonight, go home and make a commitment. Where you want to become pure within yourself from him. And you want him not to find any fault in you. And you want to become like Jesus. Because in the Bible days, they said they'd been with Jesus. And I want people to say, I've been with Jesus. Of course I mess up. We all mess up. But most of the time, I want them to say, I've been with Jesus. So who wants to listen to that little voice? Sweet voice of him. And he will take care of you. And thank God I've, I have listened to his voice many years ago and still listening. And thank God for his voice. Because he tells me things and they're so accurate. It's because you build that relationship with him. Amen. And I believe I'm in this church right now. John is here. And I believe that we're supposed to be here. And I feel to, I don't know if I have a voice, but I feel to sing something with you quickly oh, yes. before we close. Sing, praise God with John. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yes, amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. I don't just believe, I know there's praise to be God. here. Amen. Amen. Yes. It's exciting to be where a church is moving in the Holy Ghost. Yes. It's exciting to be there. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thanks. It's exciting to be where the Lord is talking to his people. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Bless <coughs> Brother John. I'm partially. <coughs> 
Hello. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I'm partial to this lady, I'll tell you. She blesses me every day of my life. I love her to death.
praise and worship of the mighty God we serve. Thank you for the message. I got it. It's in my spirit. Sister Gloria, God uses his handmaidens of the Lord. He uses men and women. He uses vessels. Praise God. You enjoyed worshiping the Lord tonight and giving him the glory and giving him the praise. One last time before our Savior, let's lift our hands in grateful praise and grateful admiration to God. And everybody give him praise in the name of Jesus. Amen, Lord. We worship you right now. And we praise you, Lord. And we give you the glory. And we give you the honor. Praise the name of the Lord. Always faithful to a promise I make. I try to keep them. Let me have the mic there. Praise God. And uh, all right, Patty. Stand right there. I'll come down here. I told Patty, she said, Brother Marlowe, I have a testimony. I said, all right. Praise okay, God. Um, Testify for the Lord. The other, uh, the other day, I got a phone call yes, from my husband. And I was riding with my friend. And, and, my hus and my husband called and says, my cat got hurt. And you know what? I told my friend to take me home. I went home, and you know what? He um, my cat was on the on, on the on the floor, and she was just dragging her foot. And you know what I did? I took her in the bedroom and I prayed. I said, Jesus, please help her. And that if I take her to the vet, that that um. Uh, that her leg is not broke. And you know what? I went to um, I went to the vet. They called me. They called me and they told me after they took the x-rays, they told me, they says, I got something to tell you. Her leg is not broke. Well, well. It was just um, she has arthritis. And she's um and she just um has it like a ligament in, in, her, in her leg and she still can't walk but but you know what I know Jesus will heal it I know he will please Jesus I know he can because you know what when that when that lady told me told me when, when she called me that it wasn't broken she was still on the phone with me I says, Hallelujah, Jesus! Thank you, Jesus! And I cried. And you know what? I was by her side all night last night. And she sat by my chair, had her foot by my foot. And I'm like, I'm like, she didn't want to leave me. She loves me. And I know, I know Jesus will heal her. I know he will. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. What's the name of your cat? Smokey. Smokey. God bless Smokey. Amen. Did you know, did you know God loves animals? Oh, yes. And I love animals. Lord, bless my I won't forget Smokey tonight. Praise God. He has faith to believe. I believe God. Yes, Sister Brenda. I have a testimony. Well, you're all right. You've got a testimony. Well, just stay right there. I'll come down there for you. I want everyone to know um, it was a couple Sundays ago. I got prayed for and my life has changed and, and yes, it has. I want to tell y'all when brother Vinny was here he put his hand on my head and, and I told him that I had a little bit of seizure activity inside my brain 
and when I felt felt the Holy Ghost, yeah, I, I, the seizures left. And I have not had a seizure since then, and I have not stared and stared out in space. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And I want to be prayed for for my lungs because when I walked over to Tommy with him to over to Tommy's and Patty's with Tommy, my chest got tight, got really, really tight, and I couldn't hardly breathe. You don't have any fear right now, do you? No, you don't. You're going to be all right. God, Amen. Lord Jesus. Get back here. Lord You're going to go down. Praise God. Get back, Hallelujah. Get back toward that chair right there. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. From the top of her head to the bottom of her feet, Jesus. Lord. Just like the power of the Holy Spirit flows through her right now. Right now. I believe the lungs can clear up. I believe in the name of Jesus. Brenda has been blessed to the Lord years. Can be added to her mind. And everybody said in Jesus' name, take away the headache, take away the closure in the lungs. My God can do anything. Now we got to get back to the place where we believe. To the last moment we're in this place, the high holy God is right here with us. Either if we don't do it that way, we're playing church. And we don't play church here. We come here to worship God. We come here to worship Him in spirit and in truth. We believe God blesses, heals, delivers, saves, satisfies. Amen, amen, amen. Oh, is the Lord good tonight? You said get out of the box, we're going to get out of the box. Yeah. Get out. Get out. We, we, don't, we don't, this preacher and myself, have seen the box. But thank God we're getting out of that box. You better get out of it. You better lift your hand. You better shout. You better praise the Lord. You better love him. You better say, Lord, you're my God and my Savior. Everybody, look at your neighbor right now and say, neighbor, I'm going to meet him at his coming again. I'm going to meet him at his coming again. When he comes again, I'm going to be, I'm going to be there. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. The glory of God's in this house and we're just, we're not in the meeting. We're just uh, close it out for time to go rest. Uh, but tomorrow we'll be back in the, the services. I hope tomorrow we'll go back to them again. God bless you and give you a good night's rest. Go with God. Listen, put your hand right now on your chest or your heart and say, Jesus, I'm healed in the name of Jesus. I'm happy in the name of Jesus. I'm going on in the name of Jesus. I'm going to a higher level in the name of Jesus. I am saved. I am saved. I am satisfied. And I'm happy. Amen. Amen. Now take your neighbor's hand. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, it was good to be with you tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Make some name one with another. Invite somebody to church with you tomorrow at 2 o'clock. Amen. Remember the